What's up guys, it's Jake here with Visionary Training, uh, bringing you Project Vision Episode 3. As you can probably already tell from my voice, uh, a little under the weather, allergies are hitting me pretty hard today, so I just ask that you bear with me, bear through this commentary, and enjoy the video guys. Okay, so as you saw in that clip, um, down to 202, um, just about uh, hitting under that 200 pound mark, made a pretty good amount of progress. Remember guys, it started at 208. Um, a lot of that was probably, I guess, some water weight. Actually, I know that's what it was. So I, I pretty much calmed down with the water weight now, and so now I feel like I'm progressing to losing actual fat. So the main goal through the rest of these 12 weeks is to lose on average about two pounds a week. So uh, I'm right on course for that, right on target. So. Uh, weight wise is going pretty good. I don't know if I've mentioned this, but my macros currently right now are uh, about 245 carbs, uh, anywhere from 50 to 55, 60 fats, right around there, and 210 protein. So those are the macros that I've uh, set stable. Only doing cardio uh, two days a week, nothing uh, crazy right now, just uh, only doing 15 to 20 minutes on uh, the, the treadmill at a, a pretty brisk pace. Um, with the incline all the way up. So nothing crazy at all, taking it slow. Um, keeping my tools in preservation, you know. If you're trying to cut, you're trying to lose weight, you don't want to uh, pull all the cards out of your deck all at once, you know. You don't want to be doing 20 minutes of cardio, intense stairs or sprints, uh, five to six days a week. You don't want to be uh, down to under 200 cards right out of the gate. So you want to save those kinds of things for when you plateau or when you reach those sticking points. Okay, so this week's value is balance. Okay, so balance. Balance is something that is very integral to everyone's lives, no matter what kind of goals you're reaching or even if you're just trying to get through life on a day-to-day -day basis. I mean, balance is everything. Especially for me personally, you know, I, I do this YouTube thing. I have uh, clients on my website. Uh, I try to, uh, you know, keep this content coming, try to keep ideas flowing while also working a full-time job, you know, getting, working five days a week, I'm still trying to train and still trying to stay committed and dedicated to my own um, goals outside of that arena. Okay, so I'm gonna give you uh, three tips I believe can be applied that uh, focus on balance and helping you get more balance in your own life. Okay, so this first tip is going to be the biggest, the biggest tip I feel like in this uh, particular video, and that is be intentional. So if you're trying to find balance in your life and you're, you're finding yourself struggling, you know, you feel like you feel overwhelmed, you know, all these people are, are asking you to do these things, you have all these commitments, all these obligations, and you just feel like you're out of balance. You don't feel in sync with your life or with the world around you. So what do you do to kind of combat that or, or what kind of steps can you actively take to sort of alleviate that amount of stress or that impact of those stressors on your life? So the first tip is to be intentional. What this means is, you know, you're not waking up on, on a... <clears throat> the first step is to be intentional. And what this means is that you're not waking up like it's an accident. You know, you wake up with intention, with deliberate ideas of what you want to accomplish for the day. You know, that means writing down what you have to get done for the day. That doesn't mean just waking up and letting situations happen to you, letting outside interference and obstacles just come and dictate kind of what happens you know life doesn't happen to you you should happen to life if that makes sense you know you shouldn't just be here letting the wind push you around or blow you around or letting outside forces dictate what happens to you on a day-to-day -day basis you should have a clear intention of your mind of okay today I'm going to dictate or allow this amount of time to this goal okay the next day I'm going to be taking these steps and you sort of ration out your time and you're able to establish set schedules of what you need to get done on a day-to-day -day basis. And when you do that, you help organize your life. When you have some sort of organization in your life and you know what is supposed to be done on a day-to-day -day basis, on a week-to-week -week basis, that is how your goals come together. That is how you find balance in life because you've said, okay, today this is going to be taken care of. You know, you're not going to forget it down the road or, or wait until some some situation blows up or to where you don't have control over it anymore. 
So the very first and most important tip I can give you is to be intentional. Okay, so the second tip I'm gonna give is ratcheting out your time. Now this is a little bit different than being intentional. So most would assume if you're trying to find balance in your life that you would want to give equal amounts of time to all of these goals. You know, you want to spend an hour on each goal. But that's not really what rationing your time um, should really be about. It's a little bit deeper than that. When you're rationing out your time, you're looking at, okay, how much specific time do I need to spend on a goal compared to the others? That doesn't mean spending an hour on your health and an hour on spirituality, an hour on business, an hour you know, on, on each of these. Because, for example, if you're married and you have children, obviously your relationships, your family, that's going to be a few more hours spent than just enjoyment. You know, you're not going to be selfish. And keep that in mind as well as if you're trying to pursue these goals, if you're trying to get ahead in a business or, you know, you're trying to work towards something that demands a lot of deliberate action, deliberate effort, you're not going to be spending three or four hours on enjoyment as well as three or four hours on your business. So it's all about looking at, you know, the goals that you have and really being honest with yourself and being able to tell yourself, okay, how much time do I honestly, honestly need to devote to this specific area um, and that's something that's kind of helped me along the lines because you two especially when I first started uh, Project Vision or started the series I was I was really struggling with trying to figure out what I was going to do for enjoyment because even though I get enjoyment out of making these videos or um, or working on this website or doing the actual work of what I do you know this isn't I consider enjoyment as leisure time, you know, as like playing a video game or watching a movie or just doing things that are absent-minded in a sense where you're not working towards something specifically. So I was like, you know, how am I going to have to spend three hours on enjoyment and three hours on working on my business and three hours on spirituality? But that's what I'm trying to get at is that you need to ration out your time to what fits you. You know, you need to be honest with yourself and say, okay, Today, I need to get this, this, this done. That is going to take three hours out of my day for my business. Have balance, you know, you don't want to just spend all your hours in one category and leave the others neglected. So just ration out your time, guys, and figure out what specific areas or goals need what specific amounts of time on a day-to-day, -day, um, organized, weekly basis. Okay, so lastly, the third tip I'm going to give you guys is to take some new time. So a lot of us, were trying to find uh, ways to fix balance issues in our life or we're feeling overwhelmed it's often because we're not taking enough personal time you know we don't uh, practice telling people no I mean that is that is a simple solution right there is telling people no uh, especially at this day and age and I was one too you know you want to be able to be this person who can do it all who can have it all who can you know handle the stress or handle the situation the obligations but sometimes if you have important things that you're trying to reach that you're trying to work towards and deep down in your gut you know that you don't have the time that precious time to give to someone else it's really important to take some you time you know i mean take this example this is the perfect scenario for this when you're riding an airplane or if you've never flown on a plane you know when the the oxygen masks come down when something's wrong with the plane you know they tell you to put your own mask on first before you try to help your kids before you try to help your mother, your father, before you try to help anyone else, you have to help yourself. Because if you're not happy, if you're not in a confident, balanced, productive, happy state of being, then you're not going to be able to help other people. There's just no way around it. You know, you're going to get burnt out, you're going to be stressed, you're going to be angry, and you're not going to be able to handle the control of your emotions. So you need to handle yourself. You need to take care of yourself to take some you time. A lot of people. You know, we don't want to be selfish. We want to contribute to our families, to our spouses, to our kids, to our engagements, to our co-workers. You know, we want to be engaged. We want to be plugged into those people. But sometimes it's better to um, at least, at least start spending more time than you already currently do being unplugged and being isolated and being able to take time to sit and reflect and to decompress all the things that are happening to you and really be self-aware of where your life is and what's happening around you because you know life moves really fast um, especially you know the older you get it moves a lot faster than you would think and we can get caught up in the day-to-day -day grind we can get caught up being around so many people our friends our family just everyday people that you interact with and and you kind of get caught up in the rat race where you don't really take time to unplug and to just sit there 
and, and really reflect on what you're doing or the direction that you're heading. So lastly, I would just say to take some new time. So uh, this is definitely easy for me because uh, you know when you're working on things like this and you're already working full time job, um, you know success is a lonely path and you know there's not gonna be a lot of friends along the way. I'm very grateful and thankful for the support that I already do have. Um, but a long time or me time really isn't that bad because you know to, to do this thing that I want to do to, to live this vision that I have for my life, I mean, I have to be a little selfish right now, you know, I have to be a little self-centered. Because if you're not, if you're not spending that much focused energy on yourself and your own goals, then it's not going to happen. Uh, Rationing up my time, uh, that's something that I've definitely progressed with more these last, uh, this last week after I've been focusing and thinking about what I was going to make this video on balance about, of really looking at, you know, the five goals and saying, that I don't have to spend three hours on every single one. Balance isn't about having equal parts, but it's having, uh, you know, even three hours here, two hours here, an hour here, to where they all end up working together cohesively as a, you know, a coherent unit. And the last tip that I can give, and the most important, is to be intentional. You know, wake up with a plan. Wake up knowing what you want to get done today. Wake up knowing what you are going to get done today. Have a list of things you need to do. Have a list of the objectives that are going to reach these goals that can help you find that balance and have a little more organization in your life and it not just be so much anarchy and chaos and you feel overwhelmed or you feel out of control of your own situation. All right, guys, so those are the three tips for balance. I hope you've enjoyed Project Vision episode three. There's gonna be more coming in the weeks to come. I'm pumped up. I'm excited to make these videos. I hope you guys like them. If you did, please just give it a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. It helps out me. That's the best way you can support me. You can also check out uh, the Visionary Training Facebook page, my Instagram, uh, the social media links. All that is in the description box as always. You can just click down below and see that. Uh, the website's there as well. Um, discount codes for supplements. All that good stuff is all down below. So be sure to check that out. Uh, so that's all I got for you guys. More videos coming soon. Got more content planned and filmed ready for you guys. So uh, let's get it. Let's make this last third quarter of this uh, year. Let's get as much done as we can and accomplish as much as we can before the fourth quarter, before the end of the year comes. Um, there's still room for growth this year, guys. If you've not got started on your goal, don't wait for New Year's. You know, don't wait for the perfect timing. There is no perfect timing. You got to get started and you got to make it happen. All right, that's going to be it for real this time, guys. Let's keep excited, and until next time, let's keep it positive. Oh yeah, God bless. Okay, here we go guys, week three, posing. It started as love. Your